Greetings YouTube, my name is Casey Ferris, I make videos on DaVinci Resolve, and I would really like you to subscribe. Hey, why haven't you subscribed? Huh? Huh? You got something going on? Is it my face? It's okay if it's my face. A couple of days ago, I posted a video featuring a new call-out title that comes stock with DaVinci Resolve 17. And then a bunch of people started asking, how do we track that to footage? Well, here's how to do it. Here I am in Resolve 17, and I have a clip here, and we want to add a call out to tell everyone that this is a beehive, right? As if it isn't obvious. In the effects library here in the edit page under titles, we have one called call out and kind of mouse over it here in the media pool. And we can see it there just animating on. That's nice, right? So we can take this and drag that down into the timeline and we can adjust things and call this beehive. Pick a nice font like good old Arial Black, right? So everybody knows this is a beehive. Let's even make this white. Now we have it. but. How do we track this to the motion? Well, you may notice there's a couple problems here. First of all, generally, if you want to add two different layers from the timeline into Fusion, what you do is select both of them, right click, and say create new Fusion composition. But that doesn't actually work when you have a title. So what you'd have to do is make a new compound clip and then do that. But here's a better way to do this so we can move this into Fusion and do some tracking. Let's just delete this call out. Just get out of here, call out. Just sucking. And we're just going to go into Fusion with our playhead over our footage. Just click on the Fusion page. And that'll bring up our shot here in Fusion. And one thing that you might not know is that over in the effects library, in the upper left-hand corner, kind of where it is in the edit page, there's a section called edit templates. And you can actually use the same templates and titles and everything that you can in the edit page. So here's our call out. This is the same one. And I can grab this and drag it down into our nodes. And it makes a nice little group. And we can merge this group over our footage. And it works just the same as in the edit page. In fact, you can select this call out group and go up here and you have the same controls in the inspector. So very similar to just adding it in the edit page. And we can call this Beehive. Can change our font to Arial Black. We can select our color. It all works the exact same, baby. <laughs> But now we can track this motion and move this thing along with our footage. So let's do that. The easiest way to track stuff, in my opinion, is to select our original footage and hit shift space and type P-L-A-N. That'll bring up planar tracker. And the planar tracker, you can just kind of select the area that you want to track. So I'll just select the top of this beehive right here. Then over here in the inspector with the planar tracker selected, Operation mode is track. For reference time, let's hit set. What that does is say, hey, look at this image at this exact frame, which happens to be frame 354. And for motion type, I'm just gonna do translation and rotation because all I really want to do is just have this move along with our footage. I don't care if it like moves in perspective and all that junk. Now that we have that set, we can click this button track to end and it will analyze this footage and track the motion. And I'll do a pretty good job. Once we've tracked the end of it, I'll hit go to go back to our original frame and track backward. And now that we have the general motion tracked, this is really just way overkill. We don't even need to do it quite that big. You could even use just a regular point tracker and just track one point, but it's fine. Once our track is done, I'll click on this create planar transform, and that will make a new node here called planar transform. And here's what we do. You unhook the callout or whatever effect you want to track and just put that planar transform in between the merge and your effect, your title, whatever you want to track, and voila, it moves with the footage. Look at it go. So tracky. No problem, no problem. Isn't that great? So when we're done with that, we can just go back to the edit page, let this cache for a second, and here we go. There's our beehive. Look at that. It works. And there we go. We got our tracked call out to our footage. Easy as pie. Easy as crumb pie. Easy as when somebody already gives you pie. And you, all you have to do is eat the pie. Resolve 17 videos. Hmm can learn more about it. You could even learn less about it. If you, if you paid less attention, I guess. I don't know if you can learn less. Maybe you forget stuff. I don't know. I guarantee you will learn at least the amount that you know already about it. 